Hi guys, welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, meron tayong math problem coming from Calculus 1 which is uh, differential calculus and this is an application of derivatives. So yung problem natin is at what point on the curve y equals x squared minus 4x plus 8 is the tangent perpendicular to the line x minus 2y equals 1. Also, find the equations of the tangent and the normal lines. So ano po ba yung concept na gagamitin natin dyan sir IJ? So, una muna natin i-consider is yung equation ng line na binigay. So, ang given is x minus 2y equals 1. Let us recall the slope-intercept form of a given line which can be expressed as y equals mx plus b. So, what's next, sir IJ? So, we have to convert the given equation into its slope-intercept form. This is called the standard form of the equation of the line. So, ang gagawin natin dito is, we have 2y equals, so yung 2y lipat sa kabila, yung minus 1, sa kabila kasi positive 1 to, magiging negative 1, so you have x minus 1. So, divide both sides by 2, so you will come up with 1 half x minus 1 half. And the coefficient of x here corresponds to the slope of the given line. So, we have m equals 1 half. Okay, let's go back to the problem and let's analyze at what point on the curve y equals x squared minus 4x plus 8 is the tangent perpendicular? So, ibig sabihin, so thus, it only means that the, the slope of the tangent line is the negative reciprocal of this one. Let us recall that the slopes of perpendicular lines are negative reciprocals of each other. Or mathematically, the product of the slopes is equal to negative 1. So, we will now proceed to the main solution of the problem. Okay, so the slope of the line is 1 half. However, it is perpendicular. So recalling the concept of perpendicular lines, it must be the negative reciprocal. So the slope of the tangent line, I will just use the subscript TL, which corresponds to tangent line. That is the negative reciprocal of this. So that will be negative 1 over 1 half. So that is negative 2. Okay. So, Sir IJ, saan po ba nag stand yung negative 2 in terms of the application of its of derivatives? So, tandaan po natin, let us recall that the first derivative of the equation of a given curve corresponds to the slope of the tangent line at any point on that curve. So, let us uh, consider the curve y equals x squared minus 4x plus 8. So, using power rule, getting the derivative, the derivative of x squared is 2x. Derivative of negative 4x is negative 4 and the derivative of 8 is 0 because the derivative of a constant is always equal to 0. And we have to equate this to the slope of the tangent line which is equal to negative 2. So you have 2x equals negative 2 plus 4 so that's positive 2. You have x equals 1. We are asked to find the point so just solve for the value of y using the equation of the curve. So you have y equals x squared minus 4x plus 8. So plugging in the value of x. So we have y equals 1 squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 plus 8. So simplify natin. 1 minus 4, negative 3 plus 5. So you have y equals 5. So for the qu first question, sir IJ, okay, that is the point 1 comma 5. Next, hanapin natin yung equation ng tangent line. Okay. So, for the equation of the tangent line, equation of the tangent line. Paano natin kukunin, Sir IJ? Ang slope ng tangent line ay negative 2. Just recall the point slope form. So, we have y minus y sub 1 equals m multiplied by x minus x sub 1. So, you have y minus y sub 1 which is the point of tangent c which is 5 equals the slope, negative 2 multiplied by x minus x sub 1. So simplify, applying distributive property, negative 2x, negative 2 times negative 1, that's positive 2. So we have 2x plus y equals negative 5 will be positive, positive 5, so magiging 2 plus 5 is 7. So this is now the equation of the tangent line. How about, sir, ij for the normal line? Equation of the normal line. So, ang tandaan po natin na ang tangent line, the tangent line is always perpendicular to the normal line. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kung ang slope natin ay negative 2, sir IJ, ng tangent line, 
Itong one half na to is now the slope of our normal line. Tandaan po natin na yung gagamitin nating slope ng normal line is the negative reciprocal of the slope of the tangent line, which is now equal to positive one half. Ganun po siya. They are always perpendicular to each other. And then just apply the same principle. y minus y sub 1 equals m multiplied by x minus x sub 1. So you have y minus 5. Ito po yung point, ha? baka nalito. So don't be confused with what we used. So we have equals positive 1 half multiplied by x minus 1. Multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So you have 2y minus 10 equals x minus 1. So you have x minus 2y, negative 10 plus 1, that's negative 9. This is now the equation of the normal line. So if ever you have questions or clarifications, just uh, feel free to comment on the comment section. And I hope uh, you'll learn more on my engineering and math-related contents. And thank you so much to those who keep on supporting our channel. And see you on my next math tutorial videos and have a great day. Bye-bye.